State lawmakers are pushing forward with a bill to pause executions here in Oklahoma. The legislation is part of an ongoing push from a group of Republican lawmakers to fix the system. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager joins us live at the Capitol with more on a possible moratorium, Haley. Colby, Representative Kevin McDougal has worked for years for changes in the state's death penalty. But this is the first time he's had any movement on his legislation to impose a moratorium, with his bill passing unanimously out of committee. Oklahoma has executed more people per capita than any other state. Now state lawmakers are asking for a pause on executions. My problem in our state right now is we cannot trust the system, period. Representative Kevin McDougal has introduced a bill to impose a five-year moratorium on death penalties and create a task force to come up with some changes to what he calls a broken system. The Oklahoma Death Penalty Review Commission put this together with 45 recommendations uh, four or five years ago, and not one of these recommendations that would help save an innocent person's life has been implemented yet. McDougal says there are people sitting on death row right now that he believes are not worthy of the death penalty like Richard Glossop. So the problem in Oklahoma actually runs deeper than just the Glossop case. While there weren't any lawmakers in committee opposing the legislation, there was talk about adjusting the moratorium from five years to two years. I thank God that you brought this forward because it needs to be dealt with and very few people are willing to do what you've been willing to do. With 36 people currently sitting on death row in McAllister and an execution scheduled for April, McDougal says time is of the essence. I'm a believer in the death penalty, but we cannot continue a death penalty without making some changes here in Oklahoma. Be heard on the full House floor where Representative McDougal says he's cautiously optimistic it will continue to move forward. Live at the Capitol, Haley Wager, Oklahoma Zone News 9. We'll be following Haley. Thank you. We're taking an in focus look at the history of the death penalty here in Oklahoma. Since 1976, Oklahoma has executed 123 people, 11 of those since the last moratorium was lifted in 2021. Executions were stopped in 2017 after three high-profile botched executions. In 2014, inmate Clayton Lockett struggled on a gurney before dying 43 minutes into his lethal injection. In 2015, a scheduled execution of Richard Glossop was halted moments before due to the state receiving the wrong drug, and an investigation revealed the previous execution of Charles Warner was carried out using that same incorrect drug. The moratorium lasted nearly seven years. For now, executions are set to continue, and the next inmate set to be executed will have his clemency hearing next week. Michael Smith was convicted in two separate murders in 2022. Just last week, A.G. Drummond requested the Pardon and Parole Board deny clemency. That hearing is set for next Wednesday. Smith's execution is scheduled for April 4th. The Richard Glossop case has been in the spotlight for several years, and the U.S. Supreme Court will finally hear the case this fall. Glossop was sentenced to death for hiring Justin Sneed to kill their boss, Barry Ventrice. An exact date for oral arguments hasn't been set yet, but of course we'll pass that along once we get it.